Good day, everyone. Guess what I received today? I finally received my 10 rotary encoder. Now I need to find something to do with them, but that's going to be later. <clears throat> so here's the final product. And uh, wow, it was about time. So uh, program inside still has not changed. First, adjust the red, then adjust the green, and adjust the blue. All light together, no adjust. Uh, adjust the intensity of all all three color at the same time. If they were uh, originally uh, lit, if for example I only choose green, then only the green uh, will um, will be uh, brightened up. Unless they all they're all zero, then there will uh, they will all be increased. Then the original. Uh, <clears throat> program that uh, <clears throat> kind of helped me to multiplex the uh, four LED all together. I I don't know, I think we don't really see well. Let's see if I can uh, shade things up here a little bit. Here we go. And uh, the only thing now if I play with the rotary it's actually the speed that they will fade from one to another. And then I had a little uh, extra one since the last uh, video. I can actually uh, choose which color I want, kind of. Then I have a kind of a little uh, random chaser from left to right. But the thing is, it picks a color uh, from zero, uh, completely randomly. And I don't know why it kind of lights the pastel color sometimes you get a bright blue or bright red or something like that but the rest is kind of mix of a color and of course well just just the speed this those those functions though I have to hold the uh, select button a little longer I'll probably do some modification in there to instead of using the delay function probably using the uh, Arduino clock in, in inside using the milli function and little police flasher. No, it's not street legal, so I'm not going to use it. But just for show, it's it's nice and fun. Then I have the yellow one. This one I'm actually might going to use it uh, because we uh, walking in the dark is kind of cool sometimes, and um, we actually do. Um, some march stuff like that so I'll probably use it as a security flasher and then the final one is actually the same thing but it actually fades from uh, almost zero to full brightness and uh, that's yellow so uh, yeah that's that was fun uh, a little fun project and uh, I have to still have to troubleshoot because if I press too hard on the casing actually now is actually not too bad it was losing the green color so I need to check that function out and if I press it it returned to zero so just in red and uh, yeah it was a uh, funny a little fun project and the good thing about these it's since once uh, each LEDs are light up at one at the, at the time uh, the current draw at the input is only from one LED. Of course, if I put white, it's going to be at maximum, so it's 60 milliamps uh, for all uh, for all color to be uh, full brightness. So it's not too bad for power consumption. And I think the Arduino does consume a little bit of power itself. So probably later on, I'll probably uh, do a uh, sleep function or whatever. But for now, it's a good little light. It's actually, uh, the LED are not extremely super bright, but it's good enough to light up a little room. So normally what I use it, I just use it in my room to light up. So when I walk in the house, when it's all completely dark, I can see something. But uh, I also received, uh, well, an LCD shield with keypad. And as you can see right now, there's temperature there. Of course, there's a bunch of... Uh, I won't suggest, I'm not suggesting to do that. It's actually bad for short. But uh, I receive 
um, a little uh, infrared contactless uh, temperature sensor. It's the MLX9614, if, if, I, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's actually quite nice. And I was playing with it today because, of course, well, I, it's, a new, it's a new toy. You have to play with it. And uh, here's what, I, what I've done. I've used the original library that came with uh, the original program that came with the uh, MLX on uh, actually on the Arduino website. And the only thing I did is instead of in outputting my data to the uh, serial, uh, I just modified it to actually display it on on the LCD screen right now. And the refresh rate, well, it's one per second and I prepare myself a little cup of tea so that the water is kind of hot. And as you we can see right now, you see 46 degrees, 60, 62, that's a little bit more liking. <clears throat> and of course, well, Fahrenheit is kind of long to read on the little uh, display there. So I might do some adjustment, but that was just for testing purposes and fun. Uh, it's actually going to be probably a uh, all-in-one project. I'm going to box it in one of these. I have actually have an extra one uh, downstairs, and a little. Uh, I ordered myself exactly the same uh, the Arduino. I think it's the Nano that got in there. The exact same one, and I'm going to box it. I should receive eventually some Nokia 5110 uh, LCD. So uh, I'm going to put that all in a box of course the uh, the actual LCD is going to be bigger than than the project but that's going to work for for just the fun of it I'm going to drill the hole here and probably mark the uh, have the sensor there and probably going to find a use for another one of those uh, re rotary encoder for I don't know and probably put some uh, extra uh, output and input here maybe for sensors and stuff like that and now the only thing I have left to do is uh, this little sensor actually uh, send two types of data. It sends the what it reads and the actual sensor temperature. So I found some co some code for uh, reading both of the uh, of the data, but I've tested it and it wasn't giving me nothing like close to temperature that we see there. I was having minus and plus and 100 degrees and minus one. My, so um, I think I'm going to try to find with this uh, program which one is uh, the internal. And since, well, for me, I rarely use Fahrenheit uh, temperature. So I'm probably just going to delete that. But for now, oh well, it's all nice. And uh going to be... Uh, fun times. All right. Thanks for watching.